Amber, aka here by Rebecca Bell. I'm a hairstylist of 11 years and I've now got my own home salon that we built in the first lockdown. So I started hairdressing in 2009 and I did an apprenticeship at a salon in Kirby. I moved to another salon and was employed there for a few years which was great, loved it, made some lifelong friends. I then made the decision to go self-employed and I went to another salon in Mansfield which wasn't far away. Had a long term goal of having something of my own but wasn't quite sure what that was yet. So then we decided that we was going to stay here forever and it would be our forever home which then led us to decide that we'd convert the garage into a salon during the first lockdown. We've got the time and it just sent right. As much as the first lockdown was really like a shock to us and we did have that moment of oh my god what are we going to do like obviously financially my business I was more concerned about people's hair and my clients roots and how they were going to cope and if people box either here at home but it also gave us a chance to step back and look at our long-term goals and think right what are we going to do what makes the most sense to do right now and yeah the salon just came out of that so it was amazing it was an amazing opportunity um, obviously having the time to build the salon I mean Lewis my partner was back at work by the time we started building the salon so it was tough, um, it tended to be because I did decide to do videos in the first lockdown as well to try and help my clients and fill my time as well so it was kind of ticking both boxes. For the four days that he was at work on his shifts I would do a video, get that up, get all that up and running, um, learn to edit videos which was a big big challenge for me but I managed to do it, I was quite proud of myself. Um, and then the four days that he was off work would be in here cracking on with this. I mean the hours that he's put into it is unreal and he's built such a great salon so I'm really grateful for that. One thing I will say is that I did buy a lot of stock in ready for Christmas, ready for the salon opening back up again because obviously the salon didn't really get the opening that I wanted but we're in the middle of a pandemic, I got to open the salon, like, let's look on the bright side. So I was grateful for that anyway. So people did buy a lot of the Olaplex products and milkshake products during lockdown on the Black Friday sales which if I was a client I'd have done the same too but this is where it's a real struggle for us because for me at the moment the only thing I can do for clients is sell them products. One for income for me let's like address the elephant in the room but two to make sure that their hair is the best that it can be during lockdown and so that we're coming out of it with as much of a head start as we can. Obviously clients aren't seeing the hairdressers and not seeing they're not getting the treatments and things that they're used to. Obviously, coming out of lockdown two, we did Christmas, um, which was great to be able to have Christmas and trade during that time. And then throughout Christmas, it became more and more obvious that we were going to be coming into another lockdown. So from the previous experiences of the other lockdowns, I was like thinking basically, what's the best way that I can A, help my clients, B, get a bit of income coming in and C, kind of occupy my time but maximise that time and optimise that time. And with all this as well, like at this point, it was starting to kind of affect the way I felt personally and I did feel like I needed a bit more time for myself and needed to kind of be kind to myself during this time too. So for me, the videos were out of the window. I didn't feel confident sitting in front of the camera, I didn't feel like I could get my thoughts together to put something out there that would be worth watching. So not that on the head and I actually really realised that retailing products to my clients was the best way for me to support them and for them to support me. throughout the week for clients obviously you need to be making sure that people know what the products are doing know what the, who they're going to benefit and how um, obviously the cost of them and how it's going to help them maintain the hair during the lockdown so I've been trying to be mindful of posting things like that that's a lot more time efficient for me to be able to put up a post like that they can see the product they can see how much they're getting they can ask me questions if I've not kind of answered all the questions during the bit of um, caption that I write about the product and then on Friday we're doing a free delivery Friday 
So what I've been doing is within, I said a five mile radius, but it's kind of expanded, but that's fine. So <laughs> within a five mile radius, I'm doing a free delivery every Friday to all my clients that are delivering, um, ordering products. It's amazing because obviously I get to see them from a distance with a mask on, but I get to see them, make sure that everything's okay, make sure that they know how to use the product and everything. Um, get to have a quick glance at the hair as well so if there's anything that I can so yeah I am actually analysing your hair when I drop these products off guys but yeah so I get to see the hair see if there's anything that I can visibly see that the hair needs um, but as well with that they're supporting me as well and you can see that they're taking pride in the fact that they've not ordered from ASOS or Cult Beauty or whatever they're like supporting my business and it's brilliant <laughs> lockdown I, I do think that this is the most sustainable way I feel like I've got into a groove myself I feel like I'm getting time for myself I'm getting time to make sure my clients have got everything that they need within reason that I can provide um, I'm available I'm available for them mentally as well as like actually physically being available to answer a message um, and yeah it's just I feel like this is such a sustainable way of being off work and trying to be positive and trying to see the bigger picture keep everybody safe this is for a reason we have to remind ourselves that but it's hard so I'm happy with where I'm at right now lockdown two obviously you kind of came into it knowing what the other side looked like a lot more so it was a lot more like, okay guys, well, we're locked down, but we know what the other side looks like now. We've got everything in place. We know where we get our PPE from. We know what works, we know what doesn't work. We know systems, you do have a bit of a system in place in your mind. Um, even down to like, if I've got two clients in, kind of, I do explain to my clients, like, right babe, so I've got another lady in now, I'm just gonna move you over there. You're gonna stay there until this point in her service, then you're gonna move to that point. So it does kind of, just reassuring them that you're thinking about it, thinking about spacing them, asking them if they're comfortable, if they're comfortable there, letting them visibly see you cleaning everything down as well. Mental health has been a really massive part of lockdown, how it's affected people, how it affects people on a daily basis. Obviously mental health is a massive thing anyway. A big part of people coming to get their hair done and hair appointments isn't just getting your hair done. There is a feel good factor of how you feel when you leave the salon and you've got new hair and you feel fresh. But equally there's that factor of you offloaded. Like this chair is one of the biggest places for people to sit and relax and they just kind of let everything go. You talk to your hairdresser, myself, about all sorts and equally I'll share back to you. And it's been massive for people and I do know that as much as people have missed not getting their hair done, they've also missed not getting that chat and not getting that catch up and that me time and that time away from everything else. Like the minute someone steps through that salon door, the outside world doesn't matter. The messages that I've received off clients like, how are you? Like, don't worry about my hair, I'm not messaging you to say all my roots are bad like I'm genuinely messaging you to see how you're doing like honestly it's so touching and the amount of clients that have messaged me and this is not offensive either like it's massively appreciated the, the, the fact that they've thought about it that they've messaged me like are you okay financially do you want me to send you a deposit for my next appointment now like honestly I could actually get emotional about it because People are just so, it has taught me so much that people are so thoughtful and so kind and obviously not everybody is like that but there, there's more than not. I'm still your hairdresser, I'm still here for you, I'm still available, drop me a message, you've got my number, even if it's just to say what's going on, do we, do we know anymore yet, even though sometimes we know we don't know anymore, but if you just want to send me a message and just say, please tell me you know something, then that's fine, drop me that message, but I am still your hairdresser, I'm still here, I'm still here to support you, and my door is closed for a reason at the moment, to keep you guys safe, um, but hopefully on the other side of it, that means that you'll all be able to come back to me healthy and happy, and we'll be able to smash those hair goals moving forward in 2021.